dinner on Monday. I guess it's a meatless Monday. We're doing a butternut squash chipotle chili. So this is from my uh, cookbook I got from the library, Love Real Food by Cookie and Kate. I'm sure some of you have heard of, a lot of you have heard of her blog, because I have. And then when I saw this, I was like, yay, a cookbook. I love it when blog people make cookbooks. But anyways, so it is vegan, and uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty tasty, full of flavor. It's got red bell pepper, onion, uh, black beans, butternut squash, garlic, um, and then just seasonings like chili powder. It calls for um, adobo sauce, but I use smoked paprika instead. Um, and then cumin, cinnamon, it had a bay leaf. A diced tomato can and some vegetable broth and then she makes her own tortilla strips but I'm just gonna use some tortilla chips that I have and then we'll also top it with diced avocado and cilantro and then I bought some kiwi today at Costco so I cut a couple of those up and like I said it's vegan but Jared would probably want some cheese on his but I don't care as long as he doesn't complain about it but anyway, there's our yummy soup. As you can tell by my voice, I need some soup. I've been craving it. So that's what's for dinner on Monday. For dinner on Tuesday, we are being bad tonight. Um, just a quick, easy uh, meal. So I made these croissant roll-ups, which is just the crescent rolls with deli meat turkey in there and shredded cheese. And you just roll that up and bake it. And then we just got some ranch style beans. Haven't had those in forever. I hope you like them, Jerry. Um, and then steamed broccoli, just seasoned with salt and lemon juice, and then cut up an apple and persimmons. We got some of those from our farmer, and they're pretty good. It's hard to tell when they're ripe, but it's been fun trying new fruit. But anyways, that's what's for dinner on Tuesday. For dinner on Wednesday, um, I'm finishing up the last Hello Fresh meal that I got last week. It's called Bountiful Barley Bowl with roasted Brussels sprouts and pepitas. Oh. Supposed to come with arugula, but um, I don't like arugula, so I didn't put it in there. But there's the other ingredients, barley, Brussels sprouts, honey, pepitas, cranberries, feta cheese, arugula, balsamic vinegar, shallot. Uh, so I think it's pretty good so far. I've been eating a lot of the Brussels sprouts. I haven't tasted it all together, but I also uh, made a sweet potato. It looks a little burnt. It's okay. It was a recipe from one of my cookbooks, and you just slice it, put a small clove of garlic in between there and then brush it with a mixture of um, olive oil, salt, and chili powder. And then you bake it for like an hour. And uh, I don't know, it's like I didn't put enough oil on it or something, but I followed the recipe, but I don't know. And then Jared is out there grilling himself a steak. So he'll have the steak with that. Jojo will eat steak, but Jordan probably won't. And then just cut up some kiwis. But that's what's for dinner on Wednesday. For dinner on Thursday, we are having roasted red pepper potato soup. Uh, I have a recipe video for this. It's really good, so I'll put that below. And then the kids, I made them the ladybug pasta. I haven't made that in a while with their leftover veggies that they did not eat for their lunch. And they got a banana. And I got a loaf of bread from Kroger I'm attempting to cut up, and it's not working out so well. But that's it. That's what's for dinner on Thursday. Okay, guys, here's what's for dinner on Friday night. If you watched my grocery haul, you saw that I was gonna try out a vegan lasagna, and I did. Jared's gone this weekend, so figured it'd be a good time to try it out. Doesn't it look pretty and like good? It is pretty good. It's not made with any like tofu or fake cheese or anything. The white sauce in it was made, I don't know how you say it, bechamel, some kind of bush, bush, bechamel type sauce, which was just made with olive oil and flour and then almond milk and vegetable broth and so that's the white sauce and then marinara sauce and then the uh, lasagna noodles and then I used uh, frozen spinach, onion, garlic, carrot, celery, uh, green bell pepper, zucchini and some sweet potato. Uh, they don't use all that in the recipe but I wanted to use up what I had on hand and it, the re original recipe calls for mushrooms which if Jared was trying this, I would have used mushrooms. But since I don't like mushrooms, I didn't want to use them. But I'll put the recipe below. I'm about to go eat some more. I've just been tasting it a little bit. But it is pretty good so far. The girls, it took a long time uh, to cook and it's late. So I made them some mac and cheese, some veggies, and some blueberries. So that was their dinner. And this is mine, all mine. That's what's for dinner on Friday. Hey guys, today is Sunday. This is, it's not dinner time yet, but I'm worried I'm going to forget to show our dinner. We're having a Thanksgiving get together, uh, one today, so it's going to be like a late lunch dinner. And my job was just to bring a dessert 
and this is not stuff that I normally make. It's very bad ingredients, but it's also super simple, and I was just asked to make a dessert, and I'm home alone with the kids this weekend, so I didn't want to put a lot of pressure on myself to do anything fancy. So this is just a chocolate pie that my grandma always makes, and everyone loves it, and it's literally, you just buy the graham cracker crust pre-made at the store, and then you buy a big box of the Jell-O instant pudding, which is mixed with milk, and just put it in there, and then topped with a, a carton of Cool Whip. And so it's very good, but very bad. But that's what I made, and I'll try to remember to take a picture of the rest of the Thanksgiving lunch. But that is gonna be it for Sunday. I'm sure when we get home afterwards, uh, the kids just, I'm sure I'll be full, but the kids might eat PB&Js or something, because we'll be having a big lunch.